How's everyone doing today? Great. My name is T. Kavanara, and this is Atka, my American Eskimo dog. They're not a common breed at all. In fact, most people take a look at them and they think, oh, you've got a Siberian Husky. Or, oh, you have an Alaskan Malamute. He must be a sled dog. He must come from Alaska. Now, would it surprise you to know that the Eskimos were the original Pomeranians? In fact, Pomeranians used to be this large size, and then they were bred down to the small size that we know and love today. Okay? Eskies were brought over in the 1800s, and then P.T. Barnum used them in his circus acts. Do you know as what? As a tightrope walking dog. Imagine a dog being able to walk a tightrope. I can't even walk a tightrope, but a dog can. So Eskies are very, very smart dogs to be able to walk tightropes, right? And because they're really, really smart, what you want to do is you want to keep their minds engaged, doing tricks, doing something for you, because otherwise, because they're so smart, they get really bored, and they get really frustrated. And what happens when something gets bored or frustrated? You see some of the digging, you see some of the chewing, you see some of the tearing up of the house, etc., etc. So what I've done with Atka is I've taught him a lot of different tricks to keep his mind active and then so he's not bored and so I don't come home to a house that's been totally destroyed. Okay? So some of the things that Atka can do... Good boy. And when a dog heals, they're supposed to stay right by your side no matter where you go. If you stop, they're supposed to stop as well. So I can walk and he'll stay right by my side and if I stop, he stops as well. If I keep on walking, he'll stay by my side, and if I turn, he'll still stay with me.
little underfoot. <laughs> Sure, absolutely. He loves attention. <laughs> <laughs> 